Welcome to problem two for our circuit playlist. So in this video, we're given the following circuit. We have a 100 volt battery with an internal resistance of two ohms. And we have a 40 ohm resistor and a 10 ohm resistor in series. And I actually left out another resistor, I apologize. And there's another 10 ohm series, which is in series with a uh, 10 ohm resistor, which is in series with the battery. And the problem is to find the power dissipated by this 40 ohm resistor up here. So to do this, we're obviously going to need some equation. And I know that power is given by current multiplied by voltage. And I also know from Ohm's law that voltage is given by current times resistant, resistance. So I can substitute in voltage into there, into that voltage, and I get I squared R. And similarly, I can solve for current, and I find that V over R equals current. And I could solve, I could substitute this current into that current over there. And I get V squared divided by R. That's another representation for power. And these are just good to know. We don't, we're not going to use all of these definitions in this video. But like I said, it's just a good, good, um, Good equation to know either uh, of these three. So my mentality, uh, if I was given this problem, would be to either find out the current through the 40 ohm resistor. And if I know that, I just multiply by 40 and I square the current and I get the power. Or I can find the voltage through it. And if I find the voltage through that current, uh, through that 40 ohm resistor, or voltage across it, I plug that into here and I can get the power. So we're going to just mess around with the circuit a little bit and see how see if we can find either the current or the voltage. So the first things first that I would like to do would be to get the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So first things first, we could do 10 plus 2 gives you 12, um, 12 ohms. So let me cross these guys out. And I could rewrite this as a just one 12 ohm resistor in series with the circuit. Next, we're going to find the equivalent resistance of this part. So 1 over R EQ is equal to 1 over 40 plus 1 over 10. And we could get common denominators. We'll get 400. That'd be 10 over 400 plus 40 over 400, which is 50 over 400. So that means R EQ is 440, 400 divided by 50, or 40 over 5. So that means R EQ must be 8 ohms for this part of the circuit over here. 8 ohms. So if I do that, I get 8 plus the 12. That gives me a total resistance for the circuit of 20 ohms. So I know that the R total must be 20 ohms. And knowing that, I can get the total current using Ohm's law, V equals IR, and I can get V divided by R is equal to I. And the V here is 100 divided by 20, 100 volts by 20 ohms gives me 5 amps throughout the entire current. Uh, throughout the entire circuit. So 5 amps throughout the entire circuit means that the voltage drop across this 12 ohm resistor must be, since V equals IR, I get 5 multiplied by 12, or I get 60 volts across this resistor over here. So if this is 60 volts, I know that since the voltages have to sum to 100, the voltage across this branch over here between these two points must be 40 volts. And furthermore, since these are in parallel, they have to have the same voltage drop across both of them. So there's 40 volts across this branch over here and 40 volts across this branch over here. And so now that I know that there's 40 volts across the 40 ohm resistor, I plug this 40 in right there. And I get V squared over R gives me the 
power. So continuing down here, the power across the 40 ohm resistor is V squared over R, or 40 volts quantity squared divided by 40 ohms. That's going to give me 40 watts, because if I divide this by this, I just get 40 in the numerator, and I get 40 watts as our final answer.